Dear friends, I am back again on the YouTube. It seems my channel has started making a little bit of money. Very few though. Uh, it won't count at all <coughs> through the advertisements. Now, uh, what I am going to share today is a few books which I would recommend for my course which I am taking this semester at IIT Kanpur. Uh, it's called uh, introduction to an introduction to derivative pricing. It is about option pricing essentially. Essentially, the tools that you require to learn how to do problems in mathematical finance and how to finally reach our stated goal of reaching the Black Scholes uh, option pricing formula and its consequences. There are many many ways you can do it. So we are going to well. I want to welcome actually the students who have joined but at the same time this has been a youtube video i also want to uh, have other viewers also take this advantage of knowing what the books are which they can do use to learn finance the mathematical finance i'm speaking about not any other types the problem is that this has been a course the course lectures since they are not recorded up front cannot be put here uh, neither it will be difficult to again rework this course completely here so some important things about this course will be a part of the youtube we i will put it definitely up on the youtube and that's a promise that i make that certain facts certain aspects as i teach which i think are interesting can be told to a wider range of audience i will rather uh, put it up on the channel. So a book which I would start with is a book which is the base book of my the fundamental the main book of my course is are these two books. Stochastic Calculus for Finance Volume 1 and Volume 2. Okay. So this is written by Stephen Shreve, Stochastic Calculus for Finance, Binomial Asset Pricing Model, Stochastic Calculus for Finance 2, Continuous Time Models. This book appeared in two, I think just let me have a look exactly at the date, uh, 2004. I'm, so this book appeared in 2004 and after that many books in finance have appeared but I can tell you that nothing has bettered it. You cannot find a book, single book which I can suggest that you read and you will essentially learn mathematical finance. This first part deals with binomial model. So here you see the diagram of the binomial model. So here you start with the price then you do a coin tossing. If it is head, the price goes up by a certain amount. And if it is tail, then the price goes down by a certain amount. Here the price goes up by a factor U and goes down by a factor D. And so on. You can go and into or for a single period trading or into a multiple period trading. It's up to the problem structure. So here is the book with... Let me show you. In fact, this book I got free from Springer because I reviewed one of their books at that time, maybe in 2006 I'm talking about. And they asked me that they would give me $75 books free as a part of the honorarium kind of thing. So uh, these books were available and I chose them. So I was very lucky and I taught a course based on the book. So here uh, is it. Please look at the first part is binomial arbitrage pricing model. Next is probability theory for coin, uh, probability theory on the coin toss space means head and tail thing. And then later thing state prices, American derivative securities. But my course, I will not use uh, teach American derivative securities because not even in finite time or discrete time because in real markets, uh, American securities are not so 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 very important at this moment so 
let me just have a look at this one so this book the chapters are general the second part the chapters are general probability theory information and conditioning brownian motion stochastic calculus the into calculus which many of you now want to know risk neutral pricing connections with partial differential equations exotic options american derivative security change of neumayer change of neumayer term structure models and that's 11 is introduction to jump process i don't think this book can be better just fabulous in one sense if if i am left in any place with this book i am pretty happy to, to go along because though i have read most major part of the book because i had done a course i can still say that there are a lot of things i can learn from this book still date and i am still learning there are so many things to work through it's it's just an amazing thing it's am that somebody could actually write this amount i think this will remain as one of my favorite books in mathematical finance by me and all of mathematics <clears throat> the second book which i will show which we will be used as a part of this course partially not fully <coughs> in order to solve the pdes of black scholes is a book uh, written by three possibly chinese uh, professors zhu hu and chen derivative securities and difference method it also came out in 2004 if i am not mistaken because 2004 2005 that was a great uh, you know kind of finance mathematical finance was on the rise and springer had a series called springer finance and was publishing books after books here also this is also 2005 so here they have you know this whole thing book is essentially about partial differential equations in finance and you can have a look at the all of the pages and you can see what they're trying to do and uh, maybe it will give you a better idea of what they are trying to do here so solutions of european options for example so here they are trying to tell you how to solve that black scholes pd and all this kind of stuff which is pretty interesting and goes into much more detail about uh, actually solving partial differential equation and using them for problems in finance this is a wonderful book and i it's it's fun to read because it's written in a very simple way where it gives you much more working uh, tools to work through it rather than always getting down whether this limit really exists whether that exchange can be made between the limit and the integral they are really telling you okay there are little bit tricks you can keep on using this tricks repeatedly everywhere you get a similar situation and you will actually be able to solve the problem so this is a more of a problem solvers guide the third book which is a very extensive book and in fact i met one of these authors marek rutkowski in university of new south wales uh in in 2007 or i forgot 2007 i guess yeah when i went uh, to visit of a faculty member there in uh, optimization so here it's a book uh, called martingel methods in financial modeling this was also published way back i think uh, i would not under this is in 2005 it is the second printing was done the third quarter printing 2009 so i possibly what after that so this is a beautiful book and is a part of the stochastic modeling and applied probability series number 36 of springer and this book has a huge huge amount of stuff things which are not found in traditional finance books like dupier's formula for local volatility volatility smiles etc a lot lot of things are here a huge uh, section on interest rate derivatives and um, you you can buy an option on interest rates so these are called interest rate derivatives there's a whole uh, bunch of studies on the interest rate uh, stuff and also on the lib libor markets and about swaps and all these kind of things so this is a huge book with a lot lot of uh, things done here and it's wonderful in fact marek rutkowski in 2007 was telling me that this housing bubble will burst that lot of credit is been given 
by banks in the US without a proper hedge, proper safeguard in case there is a default from the people who have taken a loan. So his, uh, you know, whatever he was telling had actually come true. So this is one and this book is the best book for Monte Carlo methods in finance. There are several other books which people have used Monte Carlo method but nothing can beat this. Especially its writing style. Especially if you look at the chapters on random number generation. How do you generate say a uniform distribution, a number between 0 and 1? Can you, can you truly generate random numbers? What we mean by random numbers you will see is generated by an algorithm and hence is a kind of deterministic. So you, though you cannot figure out exactly what would happen, so it's a kind of pseudo randomness which he is talking about. So there are a lot of fun stuff in this book. The book is very well written. The algorithms are very well done. So for example, I the first section is on, first section actually tells you how to price uh, for example, uh, even on even on a machine, possibly Excel, you how can you just simply price up using Monte Carlo method the Black Scholes price? So, so here is this. section on uh, generating random random numbers linear congruential generators so this is very important so i think this book is fantastic it has many many things almost all parts of finance has been taken here a lot of knowledge of statistics is required to read this book and uh, which is i i think this book it is a lifelong book for anybody who is interested in finance because a lot of lot of good methods are given beautifully written uh, for example, you will see, say, how to handle term structure models for interest rates through using Monte Carlo methods, how to compute them. Uh, so, actually doing real simulation in finance, Monte Carlo is the main technique. For example, the second chapter is very beautiful, generating random numbers and random variables. How do you g get values from a standard normal distribution? Because as we will see when we learn about Brownian motion, that the Brownian motion WT at a time t will follow the normal distribution with mean 0 and variance t. So then any Brownian motion can be written as uh, t into a standard normal variable. So, because if you take the standard normal variable, the standard normal variable is t into this uh, mean in, into wt, as a root of t into wt. So, root of t uh, into zt. So, zt is equal to wt minus 0, the mean divided by root of t, which is the t was the variance. So, that will be a standard normal distribution zt. So, root of t into zt would be equal to wt. So, in actual computation, the Brownian motion can be generated through by generating samples or values from a standard normal distribution. How will you do this? Chapter 2 of this book is very important for any computational thing that you need to do in finance. So, with this, I will finish my uh, list of books which is enough for a course on derivative pricing. Now, I should be giving you a bonus as I had promised after every book show. So here is a bonus, optimization methods in finance by three big optimizers, but they are largely related to uh, mixed integer, integer programming. Gerard Cornage Ulsh is a very big name, Javier Peña, Rehar Tutungu, these are big names in optimization. And this uh, book has uh, every aspect. It starts with the mean variance portfolio models and starts on and speaks about CAPM models and goes into option pricing and lot of things where actually you can use optimization techniques. Mm, portfolio optimization with VAR, with CVAR and it teaches you the related optimization uh, techniques. So there is no harm to have a look at this book for those who are interested in 
finance in general. So it starts with an overview of optimization methods. So here is the maybe I should show you overview of optimization method, linear programming, theory and algorithms, linear programming models, asset liability management, then linear programming models, arbitrage and asset pricing, then single period models, quadratic programming. Quadratic programming models would give you the mean variance optimization, sensitivity of mean variance models to input estimation, mixed integer programming theory and algorithm, mixed integer programming models portfolio with combinatorial constraints. All kinds of combinations are coming. Stochastic programming where you have a stochastic variable in the objective or the constraints and um, stochastic programming models and risk measures and multi-period models and dynamic programming applications. A whole lot of things, multi-stage stochastic programming, stochastic programming models, asset liability management, using stochastic programming. So it's a, it's a huge, huge, uh, you know, universe that they have covered here. And they've done it pretty well with a lot of examples, trying to prove the results properly. So I like the, I kind of like this book. And uh, obviously they could be much more detailed. A far, far, far more detailed book can be written on portfolio optimization and CBAR and all those kind of stuff. But okay, they have just got a basic text. So this is useful for undergraduate and sub partly also graduate studies in optimization techniques in finance. So anyway, so let us uh, also take this as our bonus. So there is a back cover of the book. And now just let me read from the back part of this book, which gives you some idea. It's called a book jacket. Uh, in in a, if you do, if you had a cover, then there will be a jacket here, and they'll write things here. So it so that cover the jacket cover. What this exactly that is what is written here. Optimization methods play a central role in financial modeling. The textbook is devoted to explaining how state of the art optimization theory algorithms. And software can be used to efficiently solve problems in computational finance. It discusses some classical mean variance portfolio optimization models, as well as more modern developments such as models for optimal trade execution and dynamic portfolio allocation with transaction costs and taxes. Chapters discussing the theory and efficient solution methods for main classes of optimization problems. Alternate with chapters discussing their use and modeling and solution of central problems in mathematical finance. The book will be interesting and useful for students, academics and practitioners with a background in mathematics, operational research or financial engineering. Okay, and so and so. So here one has to understand that uh, one needs a, some kind of understanding of optimization beforehand would be, if somebody has that, it, 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 that would be really helpful because the author expects a little bit of maturity otherwise this book has a lot of stuff a lot of things you can learn so i would rather recommend this book for, for even teaching this book is a very good thing for teaching for example a summer course on optimization methods in finance so one thing that will not will escape you that probability is always there in finance whether you do optimization aspect or anything else kind of statistics is always there so these are the two subjects that one has to learn very carefully if one has to do finance. You probably cannot do without probability. Not probably. You can not do without probability with probability one. So with this, I end my video. Have a good weekend. Enjoy yourself and keep uh, doing mathematics that you like. Need not be exactly the mathematics I'm talking to you about. You can be liking algebra or algebraic geometry or algebraic topology. So for me, it is not possible to speak on each and every topic of mathematics. It will be because as a mathematician, I have few toolboxes in my bag and I'll keep them or using them repeatedly over and over again. So here also I'm trying to show the books which about subjects which are more close to my heart rather than, you know, talking about any thing under the sun, which is uh, for me, which is not possible. So thank you. Have a good weekend once again. Thank you very much.